up and see what the score is. to get by, pal. It's all right. You have to go around, Kaz. Fellas, McCleary. No, I can scale in this hero by myself. <laughs> no, we're all right. Cheers, though. Fair enough. If you want to transfer here, McCleary, you'd give me less lip. No, he loves it. McCleary, my office. I don't make me ask again. In a better mood today, is he? It'll be all right, guys. We'll get used to it. We all get it done. Try not to punch him. <laughs> no promises. Jack. And it's fair again, I can see from here. Well, true, I love that. <laughs> Renick will love it even more. You're telling him. I told him last time. This one's all yours. All right, Roper, what's the problem? I don't usually see you down here. Ah, Troll's acting up this morning. Got the crew running around like blue ass flies, but they kinda make head or tail of it. Is that news behind schedule then? No, not yet. And uh, not if the gods are smiling on us. So mere fuck than ever. Poor as fucked as you by the sounds of it. Look, you better get up there. The boss man sounds raging. Well, how long will that take? Water's in, but might be two, three weeks before it's shipped like. I can patch it, but we'll need to keep an eye. Maybe say a prayer and all. Seems like we're doing do yours. Stay on the path, mate. A cargo hoist will crush you if you get close. Scooby, give me a heart attack. Oh, sorry, mate. Can I ask a wee favour? What do you need, Scoob? Oh, could you do me a quick fix on the crew lift fuse box while you're down there? Aye, no bother. Oh, you're a lifesaver, mate. And don't let the big man get you down, all right? Thanks, pal.
Well, here we fucking go. Enter! Ah, Mr. McClary. So glad you could join me and sorry to have got you out of bed. Shut the door and have a seat. Oh, I'm fine, standing. Sit your ass in that chair, you fucking liability. But I don't... I run a tight ship. Do you understand me? A tight ship. Technically, it's not a ship. Shut your gub, you Ned prick! I am sick, sick to fucking bouking of you wee gob sites messing with my operation. That chef might be a mate of yours, but he does not run things around here. I do. Do you understand me? All right, why don't you just get on with it? Don't you answer me back! You might be the height of shite on shore, McClary, but out here, I am the fucking king. Do you understand me? You bring the polis to my door, to my rig. Uh, I, I can sort this, right? I just need time. Shut it, you clatty gobshite. I've got here's a man who can make a more positive contribution to this operation than you. But I know Shut it! I'm in a meeting. What? Fuck's sake, Gibbo, I don't care. We're on a schedule. It's a fucking drill. You've got a fucking drill, so drill through it. Yeah, well, Roper's a whiny old fud. He's got a problem with everything. I don't care if it feels half. Just fucking do it! Or I'll come down there myself! That, uh, trouble with the missus? You're fired. You hear me? Fired. Come on, man. It's only a wee bit of trouble with the polis. I'm good with the lecky. I keep things running. You said it yourself. Out! Get off my rig! Aye. A happy new year to you too, you cunt. for you guys. Here, two bars and a ball bag. Now listen, Pat. I promise I'll take care of him. I had a word with our Kieran, you remember him? He knows Billy Chamberlain from way back. He owes me a favour. Reckons you can sweeten Billy up a bit. Come on. Have I ever let you down? Roy, you lost the cake at the wedding. No, now then, now then. That, that wasn't my fault. You left it on a bench at Argyle Street. Aye, well, that blue teddy didn't even remember baking the cunt. Oh, my children, that was before the light of the Lord came to me. Here we fucking go. Uh, and you, Mr. McCleary, you can fuss and cuss all you like. But perhaps if you went to the Saracens a little less and the Tabernacle a little more, then perhaps you'd not be in this pickle, eh? Don't look at me. You're the one who decided to spend the next four months trapped on our egg with this bampot. Susan, I promise you, I promise you, we will get this straightened out. I will. You'd better. Guys! Christ! He's gone cold! Shit! Guys! Get his legs! We can't leave him out here! Move! Fuck! Cass! I think he's dead! We've got you, man, alright? We've got you! He's breathing, thank Christ! Cass! 
We got cars. Why is he not waking up? Can you hear me? Is he going to die, Brody? <laughs> cars? <coughs> My heat's killing me, but... Aye, aye, I think so. You got me out. Did you get Gregor? I got you, aye. I couldn't find Gregor. Fuck. I'm sorry, Cass. Jesus. He's not the only one we lost. Oh, no, no. Raf's is still in there. Why aren't these working? Cass, I need you to help me. Cass! What? Right. Aye, what, what do you need? The cable's stuck. Go down and release the main brake, then come back up and raise the bell. If you can get it to my level, I think I can get him out. Aye. Raths, it's all right, we're getting you out. We'll be two minutes, pal. Uh, right. Explosion. Nobody knows, but whatever it was, it was big. You were lucky, trust me. Douglas is trying to find out Mayor, like if the bear is even safe now. What's wrong with Raths? I don't know, all right. Decompression shouldn't have been this bad. Oh, I shouldn't have let him go down there. I said I'd look after him. I'm here, Raths. It's pro day. I'm going to get you out. Ah. Is there anything mayor I can do? No, I'll get him. We need to know what's going on up top. You'll need to go through engineering. The way up is blocked from here. Where's engineering for here? I've never been doing this end before. The only way you'll get there is to go under the rig. Should be a clearer path down there. All right, I'll head down now.
shite! Oh, what? fucking hell. Just get a crew. 